Fishy friends, welcome on another Fishy Friday here at Bart's Fish Tales. And today it's time for a tinned seafood recipe. We're going to make gnocchi with anchovies and sage butter. It's a very easy recipe, but very delicious. Only five ingredients, guys. Um, first ingredient is anchovies. So what we do, we get rid of the oil. So the first possibility to have them less salty is on the cold running water. You rinse them on the cold running or lukewarm water. Another possibility, and it gets uh, uh, even a bit more or less salty, a bit smoother, is using some milk. So what I'll do, I have my anchovies uh, fillets for maybe like 10 minutes in some milk. And I'm using a whole tin, around 45 grams. So I leave the anchovies here. We're going to make sage butter. And to make the sage butter, I'm first going to clarify butter. I've got 125 grams of butter right here, and I'm going to have it in a little saucepan on low to medium heat. What you don't want is that you see it like uh, bubbling. Um, you want to have it on low heat. You just want to separate the oil part and the protein part. So all the butter has melted, and what I do right now, I scoop off. So there is a top layer, uh, on the top layer there is the, the egg white, the protein. And I scoop it out of the pan. But be careful guys, there's also some uh, egg white protein on the bottom of the pan. So what we do, the oily part to another pan, be careful. And then suddenly what you see, there is the egg white. And this is the moment you stop pouring. So this was the butter before. In total, we get rid of the protein part, and this is the oily part, and the reason why, it can resist higher temperature, and we need it now to prep the sage. Okay, butter. Medium to high heat. I have some fresh sage here, and I take off the leaves. So what we will do right now, we're going to infuse it with the taste, the flavor of fresh sage. Wonderful. So I add the sage, the fresh sage, into the butter and I'm going to make the leaves crispy. It takes a few minutes. Okay, then we take the leaves out and you drain them on a piece of kitchen paper. Nice, crispy. So the beautiful flavor of the sage has infused into the oil. So we have created sage butter. Now we're going to make the gnocchi. I've got some boiling water, salted bo boiling water right here. I'm going to cook the gnocchi in around two minutes. Into the pan. Meanwhile, we're going to drain the anchovies. So they're a bit milky now, but that's not a problem. It even gives a bit of extra flavor to the dish. And you, what you see after a few minutes, the gnocchi are coming to the surface. Then I give it another two minutes and the gnocchi will be perfectly cooked. So I roughly chop some parsley leaves. Gnocchi is ready, so I drain it, bring them back into the pan. I'm going to add the anchovies into the butter, and I add these, bit of parsley and some black pepper. I'm not using salt because the anchovies is already quite salty. Beautiful. Some sage leaves, and I saved some anchovies fillets as a garnish. Time for a taste. Gnocchi, tinned anchovies, sage butter. Mmm, mm. it's lovely. It's the softness of the gnocchi. With the, we have the crispiness of the sage, the creaminess of the butter, and the saltiness of the anchovies. It's a great recipe. Simple to make, quick to make. Um, if you have any comments, any questions, leave them down in the box below. Don't forget to subscribe and hope to see you soon back on another Fishy Friday. Hey, hey, do you die naaf niet? Oeh, kijk eens hier. De ander, de zicht. So this, it's not in the half, but you see, it, it's perfect. See you next time.